Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are working on chest. I've got four exercises picked out for us. You're gonna need a pair of dumbbells and a yoga mat, so go ahead and grab your gear. If you don't have any dumbbells at home, grab two water bottles so you can add a little bit of resistance to these exercises. It's needed, okay guys? Grab your gear before we get started. Don't forget, December's workout calendar is now available in the description box down below. So click the link and sign up to get your emails and the calendar every month. I'll see you guys there. So, starting off, we are going to be doing dumbbell pullovers. So, laying on your back, grab one of your dumbbells. You could even use both of them if you wanted to challenge yourself, or if you have one heavier one, just put both of them together. And we are going to start here and pull it over. Working the upper pectorals. This exercise is perfect for ladies if you want to a little boob lift, you know, little natural boobies. Boom, just like that, and pull it over. So the dumbbells hover over the ground here. You don't rest them down because that's taking away the tension on the muscle. So right here hovering and pull them up right above the chest. You don't have to come over here, that's pointless. So right here is good enough. And then back down and up. We are gonna be doing three sets of 15. Like I said, if you have a pair of water bottles, use your water bottles, but add some type of resistance. If you don't have any, you know, you can just be here to here, here to here. And you might feel the burn, but I highly doubt it. So challenge yourself and grab something that has a little bit of weight to it. So let's get started, 15 here. Keep your back nice and flat to the ground. You don't want to arch your back. Just right here, tuck your core in and push almost like you're pulling your belly button towards the ground so that you don't strain your back. You could easily arch your back and pull up from your lower back, but that's not what we wanna do here. You wanna keep your back on the ground and pull up from your pec. Let's get started. In New York, the people talk and try to make us rhyme. They really hold, but we just won't because we have no time. Second rest. Moving into set two. job 10 second rest if you're wearing your apple watch don't forget to turn it on let it track your workouts it's such a great way to track your activity during the day last set we have our last 15 here flex those pecs mind muscle connection Pay attention to where you're feeling the burn. Give yourself a 20 second rest. While you guys are resting, I'm gonna show you this next exercise. 
So we are going to be doing chest presses, nice and wide stance here with the arms, 90 degree angles, and we're pressing up above the chest right here and back down and pushing up from the chest. Again, we're working the pecs, we're doing side here. Side pectoral, we're also working a little bit of the bra bulge area right here in the latissimus dorsi in your back. So some back muscle, some boob muscle, we're getting it all together and of course we're using these arms and shoulders. So just like this, focus on where you're, where you're moving the weight basically with your muscles. Remember when I broke it down when we were doing the squats and how you flex when you push up? So think about flexing your pecs as you push up at this position here. So while your arms are down towards the ground, focus on pulling those arms up using your pecs right here. And you will feel just where you're putting the tension and you're working, what muscle you're working. So instead of just going like this, you're basically just working your arms right here. You're not feeling anything. Go nice and easy and feel. Put, put the focus in the boobs. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. And go nice and slow. We're gonna do three sets of 20. Again, keep your back nice and flat to the ground. You don't need to arch your back. We're not pulling from the back. We're not even using the back. Let's get started. Make sure you're breathing. It's not very hard exercise because we're laying down. There's no cardio going on here. You still wanna get into the good habits of breathing. A lot of people get headaches when they work out because they're having hypertension and they're not getting enough oxygen to their brain. Make sure you're in a good breathing rhythm. Pay attention to where you're feeling the burn. Flex those pecs. job 10 second rest a good way to know if you're working your if you're working your pecs is to look at them when you're working your pecs you're gonna see them separate and flex the top area especially for girls it's a little bit easier because we have more you know boobage but you'll be able to see if they're flexing contracting and relaxing just like this so if you're like oh I'm not really feeling the burn in my boobs or I don't know if I'm doing this right. Just take, just look down and just see how your muscle is looking, how your boobs are separating, if they're flexing, and maybe even try one without the weight so you can feel yourself and feel right here on the outer part and then look on the inner part and you'll be able to feel, yeah, I'm working the right muscle. Just in case you're getting a little confused or you're not feeling it in the right area. All right, moving into set two. Great job, 10 second rest. Last 20 on this one, you guys. Let's get started.
Give yourself a 20 second rest. We're gonna go ahead and put our dumbbells off to the side for a second, and we're gonna be doing some, some push-ups. So we're using a wide stance here. For the guys, you know the drill, you're doing a regular push-up <laughs> with your legs up just like this. So for girls, we're gonna use our knees, and if you can, don't use your knees, obviously. You wanna use the most resistance. So we're taking a nice wide stance here. Arms come out, so means, means elbows come out. Instead of like this, where we sometimes tuck them close to keep our triceps with the tension to work our arms, we wanna work our chest today. So we're taking a nice wide stance, and elbows are coming outward, towards the camera, towards the wall. Boom. They're not sitting back like this. Okay, so that's how we're gonna work our chest right now. We're gonna do three sets of 10. Like I said, if you can, do a regular push-up. Keep your legs off the ground. Your body's nice and flat and your back is nice and flat, core is tight. If you're using your legs the assisted way like I am, you just wanna cross your lower legs here and lean a little bit forward to get that back nice and straight and look forward. It's important to look forward because your head is the heaviest thing on your body and instead of looking down, you're actually using the head as a weight. And your spine is also elongated, meaning you're, it's gonna feel better, and your airway is not, not blocked, so you're gonna be able to breathe better as well. Because if you're looking down, it's actually a little harder to breathe, versus if you're looking forward, it's easier to breathe because the esophagus is in line, okay? So, three sets of 10, let's get started. Keep your core tight. Great job. 10 second rest. Great job, 10 second rest. Sometimes the wrist is sensitive. All right, last set you guys, last 10. Great job. Good job. Give yourself a 20 second rest. For this last exercise, we're going to be sitting on our knees, just like so. Grab your dumbbells. If you want to stand up, you can stand up. That's fine. Either way. All right. We are going to be doing here one of these bad boys and bringing them together, just like that, pulling them apart. So in the gym, there's actually a machine like this. It has two sides and you can pull it towards your back or you can pull it towards the front. So that is the machine that we're doing, but with dumbbells. So 90 degree angle here and then bringing them forward, flexing these chest pectorals here and then pulling them apart, flexing here. It's gonna be good, trust me. Three sets of 15, keep back straight, core is nice and tight, and let's get started. Right here guys, and together. Boom, just like that. Elbows don't have to touch, dumbbells do. That's three, four. You're also gonna feel your back, your upper back being worked as well. Bob bulge areas being worked. Flex those boobies. Job, that's 15. Take a 10 second rest. Set two. Right here and come together. Breathing, guys, breathing in. 
out, okay? Keep it going. We have four. We have three. We have two. And one more, let's get it. One, good job. 10 second rest, we've got one more set of 15 and we're done for the day. I hope you guys, I'm feeling the burn. I'm feeling good. We're using fives, but you know what? The repetitions do help. We're also girls, we're not trying to get like or anything. Let's get these last 15 ladies right here. Oh, and gentlemen, I, there's guys that watch this too. So come on, dudes. You got this. You better be using like 50s or something. <laughs> Just kidding. Use whatever's comfortable for you. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Back is nice and straight. You're not arching. Eight. Nine. Ten. Come on. Five more. Let's get it. Five. I'm shaking a little bit. Four. Can you guys see? <laughs> Three. Come on. Almost there. Two. Oh, almost there. And one. Whew, that is so good. That is so good. I feel it in my back. I feel it in my arms. I feel it in my boobs. All around, I feel good. I hope you guys do too. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget, get your December calendar in the description box down below. Also guys, stretch out your upper body. I'm gonna leave a video right here on the screen. Get a little stretch on. Don't get sore, don't get tight. You don't wanna feel like you can't work out the next day, okay? So I'll see you guys in that video. Bye.